Growler number 110. Came in for her two month refurbishment. It was finished and heading back home with a happy owner. When he came to pick that up, he came and dropped off another toy for me to work on. Hi, hey, welcome back to the channel. So, the guy that owns the first Growler that I went through, uh, Growler number 110, he, uh, you know, as I mentioned before in other videos, he owns I don't know, a handful of vehicles. I think he owns like four of them all together. Uh, he just kind of runs them in parades or, you know, just gets on them just to kind of play around on them. Uh, this one here is a Mighty Might. So they made these from 1959 to 1962. The reason they made them was because at the time our helicopters couldn't pick up a full-size Jeep, um, you know, just the older helicopters. Once they came out with the uh, Hueys, they were able to pick up a regular Jeep. So they kind of went back to the regular Jeep. I think those are M38 or whatever they're called. Uh, but this is an M44 Mighty Might. Uh, the body's aluminum. Almost everything on it's aluminum. The wheels are steel. Obviously the transmission that's and the transfer case are cast iron. Uh, what else? The engine, it's a V4 air-cooled engine. Uh, it's made out of magnesium. It's really cool. It runs good too. It's got surprisingly, well it's so light, but I mean it gets up and moves pretty good. Um, it's got a little manual transmission. I've only found three gears, but the tag says four, so I don't know what's going on with that. Um, it's really interesting. It's got this independent suspension all the way around. Uh, the way that these leaf springs come forward, you've got like a, a trailing arm for the wheel, and then the leaf spring comes forward to the center of the frame. Uh, front and rear, all four wheels act the same way. Uh, from what I've heard and read, you could have a wheel blown off of this thing, and she'll still just keep driving. Uh, they're really cool. They were kind of disposable. Um, they were kind of, they weren't made to be really, not, not, not that they weren't reliable, but they were just kind of made to be disposable. So they could take these things, they could lower them into a combat situation, you know, like in, in Vietnam, they could land them in a jungle type area or somewhere like that. Real small, very agile. They go, they climb like crazy. They go anywhere because they're so light. You know, you got that all wheel drive. And then if something happened, you, you, you can leave it there. They were cheap enough. Um, they just blow it up. Just, you know, don't risk any lives to get it out. Let's put it that way. Whereas, you know, a more expensive vehicle, you're going to try a little harder to save it. Uh, these ones here, they were just kind of, I guess, made to be disposable. Uh, but it's pretty cool. So he just brought it over because it had a bad oil leak. Uh, the rear drive shaft um, output seal was leaking. Um, so I, I've already got the seal dug out. I got the seal out. I was able to find a new seal at Napa. So I just got to put that in, put the drive shaft back in. Um, I'm not sure what else he wants me to do to it. There's a couple other leaks, but they're real minor. I'm not sure if we'll get to those or not. All right, I got the Mighty Might down off the lift. Looks like the, got the leak fixed okay. She's not dripping anymore. Take a little peek under the skirt here, see what we got. Look at that, a little air-cooled aluminum or magnesium. I don't know, it's either aluminum or magnesium. Uh, V4. Pretty cool. It's got like the aircraft style spark plugs and magneto. Uh, it's 24 volt, two 12 volt batteries in series. Uh, the owner, he put a uh, electric fan in here too that you can turn on with a toggle switch. Just, uh, you know, because he, when he uses it in parades and stuff like that, it does a lot of kind of idling. It's just putting real slow so it doesn't get enough airflow across it. So that kind of helps to flush the air out around the engine. So she's pretty cool. Pretty, uh, squeeze into this thing it's pretty neat you know how you start this thing it's got uh, you know it doesn't have a regular solenoid on the starter it's got a bendix so you turn the power on and then you just pull pull the starter bender lever out so it's pretty cool See if I can remember where reverse is. <laughs> All right, find reverse. There it goes.
it's a pretty neat little uh, Mighty Might. It's uh, it's all original. Um, some of the tires are even original. I mean, you can tell by the age of these things are cracked up, and it's just incredible that this thing has survived, you know, 50 years without being uh, what I call molested. You know, having someone taken try to make a farm vehicle out of it and paint it some red or orange color or something. Uh, pretty neat little truck. I was proud to work on it. So once again, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please click like. Uh, if you have any comments, feel free to comment. I I always comment back. If there's something to comment back, it depends what you what you say. Um, and then please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And uh, hit that notification bell because there's a lot more of this stuff coming. You know, I've already done a video on this uh, on this XR311 prototype. Um, I've got another project that just rolled in yesterday. I'm going to be doing some video on that. So stay tuned and there'll be a lot more to come.